I don't yet know if I'm going to turn this into a getting the bucket shot series, but who knows. Anyway, two weekends ago I headed to the Golden Gate Bridge intending to vlog the experience, but I underestimated just how cold and windy it was there. So you could hear that much of my on-site audio would have been unusable, which is why I built this little pop-up studio so I could talk to you under more controlled conditions. I specifically chose Golden Hour because I believe it would provide the most interesting skies. According to the iOS weather app, the sun was scheduled to set around 8.30 p.m., so I got there around 8 p.m., and all of the images of the bridge that you see were taken during that hour. After getting to the Welcome Center, it's just a matter of moving around on your feet to get your bucket shot, or in my case, the two bucket shots. For me, it's two because I like to get a landscape shot that theoretically looks better printed, and I like to get a vertical shot for Instagram because vertical images take up more screen space as people scroll vertically. And you want to go into your bucket list shots with somewhat of a plan of what you want to get out of the shot. As mentioned earlier, I wanted a shot with golden hour skies, but on top of that, I wanted a shot with as few people as possible, ideally none. In an area that attracts many tourists, this requires a little walking around. I'm glad selfies weren't high on my priority list because both my video and photo selfies came out looking like garbage. One of the things I forgot to do during most of my headshots is pull my lens back to its widest angle to get less of my head and more of my body and the background into the frame. This is what happens when you're rusty from having not created content in a while as you could see from when I last posted a video to this channel. By the way, I used a Sony a7C with a 24-105 f4 lens because I know you're all curious. After getting the bridge from various angles and even walking onto the bridge, I settled for this as my traditional bucket shot. And I settled for this as my Instagram shot. After I got my bucket shots, I decided to walk the entire four and a half miles home, so here are some scenes from that after sunset hike. Mm -hmm. 